Welcome to New Life Episode 1, a brand new modded SMP with tons of amazing mods and even more amazing people. Similar to Afterlife, we're using the Origins mod, and there's so many Origins, it's just crazy. Once we spawn in, we're assigned a random Origin. We get 6 lives, but if we die, we're assigned a brand new Origin. And if we die 6 times, we're out of the series. So let's hope we don't die too soon. Oh, and then I mentioned we have the Create mod on this server. <laughs> yep, this is gonna be fun. Let's get this started. I bet you're wondering what kind of powers and abilities I have. Oh, <laughs> let me tell you, they're good. Very good. I am a ghast. A ghast mage, specifically. You're a flying denizen of the nether, capable of raining down hellfire. Pyroblast. You can unleash terrifying fireballs. For example... Yep. Spectral Flight, you're able to launch up into the air and will slowly glide until you reach the ground. Let me show you. This is awesome. Woo! Ah! I'm still getting the hang of these powers. It's more like this, actually. Hi. <laughs> fire Immunity, you're impervious to fire and lava. Hydrophobia, you receive damage over time while in contact with water. So if it rains... I'm in trouble. I also can't swim. Ain't that right, chicken? <laughs> They're laughing at me. Don't laugh at me! <laughs> Need for mobility. You cannot wear any heavy armor. Armor with protection values higher than iron. Well, that's gonna be pretty dangerous out here. It's okay. I can't be that OP. Or can I? No, no. That's fine. We can take care of ourselves. Now let's jump into this amazing world and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Follow me. Oh, pretty. Whoa, look at this bridge. Parkour. Woo. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, is that a koi fish? I swim with you. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, I forgot I can't, I can't swim. Oops. Let's gear up. Woohoo. What? I am now Thor. Fear me. Of course, I gotta pick some flowers. I'm Thor. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yep, that does a lot of damage. Spotted pig. Hi. Oh, it's a big ravine here. How am I gonna get out of here? Easy! Like this. Ooh, a village I see. Let's go check this out. Hello, villagers. You mind if I steal your stuff? <laughs> Let's go see. What do you have? What are you, a doctor? An alchemist. Very nice, nice to meet you. Ah, oh, what a nice first night. Hey guys, you got a zombie head here. I don't know if you've seen it. Just gonna loot your stuff, if that's okay. Oh, it's a nice bath. Can I take a dip? Is that a chef? Oh, do you have ratatouille underneath your hat? <laughs> oh, this is cool. <gasps> what? Make salad. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. What are these? These are pretty. I love what you've done with the place. Oh, I'm going to have the greatest kitchen known to man. What? Is that a pie? Chef, can I eat this pie? <laughs> Yummy. Whoa, it's giving me speed. Wow, what do you have in that cake? <laughs> Please tell me your recipe. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna do my best not to destroy this place. I will love to take everything you have. What is that? Oh, sorry. Um, I'll just, just leave that. See you soon, chef. Hello, what are you? A beekeeper? Wow, that's cool. I thought you were just covering your face because you ugly. I'll see you later. I'll bring bees for you. Ah, you scared me. Get out. What's going on here? Hi, you guys look familiar. Now, if I put this back on you... Oh! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> hey, little guy! Uh, welcome! Enjoy! Um, let me try to fix these. I did it! Oh, there you go! Wow, I did a nice service for this village, didn't I? <laughs> oh, cool! <laughs> you guys are pretty! Hello, evening! Don't know what's happening here... Oh! <gasps> I've been blessed by the Minecraft gods! Wee! What a nice day this is. What is this place? Oh, hello. Oh, what is... What's wrong with you? you have a, is that a dive mask? Oceanographer? Wow. Uh, you know you're not in the ocean right now, right? You don't need to wear that mask. Okay, that's fine. That's pretty. I'll take a bucket, if you don't mind. Are you serious with this? Can I yoink this too? Let's try. Oh, mistakes were made. Mistakes. I'll put it back. Ah! I can't have you in water! Sorry, how do I use this then? There it is. Okay, I fixed it. Nothing to see here. Sorry about that. It's okay, your fishes are fine. Hi. Oh, you're new and beautiful. <gasps> Swarm Blossom, give me. 
Thank you. Oh, 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 scare me! What are you? What is that? Is that a leaf bug? You're a little leaf bug. Look, you little leaf bug, tiny little thing. Oh, <laughs> you're cute. Oh, wow. That scared me very badly, more than it should have. Uh, I'm taking this, whatever this is. This looks very magical. I think we robbed this place blind. I left some stuff for other people, but I think it's time to see if we can find our new home. I know it's out there somewhere. Um, excuse me? What is this flying ship? And that's a wooden mansion and another village. Um, not ready for either one of these two. It'll be something for another day. Um, <laughs> that is cool though. Hmm. But it wasn't too long after that I found the coolest area that I possibly could have found for myself. I love Mega Tigers, and this Mega Tiger, it is amazing. The terrain is awesome. But not only that, it is an actual island. Surrounded by rivers on all sides, I could build some cool stuff in here. So welcome to my little humble starter area. The birds are chirping and the loveliness is all around us. <laughs> Just look how plain this looks. I'm so sorry, trust me. This is gonna look a lot better in a little bit. Oh God, ultra zoom. <laughs> Zwee, woo, look at my eyes. I can do that all day. I also figured out how to make a backpack. So to make a backpack, we just need that. Cloth is super simple. We just need to combine some wheat and some wool. But then the game doesn't really tell you this, but if you do a little bit of research, you need a pack frame like this, which is pretty simple to make. We need to make this thing that's hiding in the back. It's a upgrade backpack thing. Looks like a smithing table. And then we just put that in there, this in there, and then now we have a lovely backpack. And we can put a bunch of cool stuff in there. Oh, and you know what? I believe I have a friend that's really close by. We should go. Pay her a visit. Hello? That was pretty dramatic what you just did. Did you see that? Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I could do this. Like you're walking on air. Yup. I love this. This is the greatest power I could ever think of. Look at this. Yeah, Ready? Uh, Show me. Uh -huh. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. You do the same thing! That's, that's it. That's the whole thing. That's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, it's not as high, really. No? Like this? <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, you're so graceful. Thank you. I've been practicing this. Watch this again. I'm sorry. I also have no fall damage. Oh, I love this life. <laughs> what the heck? You're so OP. I I'm just a bee. Go. You're a bee? Wait, you're a bee? Oh my god. Sting me. Sting me. Ah! Yeah, that's very powerful. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually just a, a swarm. I oh. don't have the, the poison. Oh, you don't have the poison? You can't poison me? But okay. I can breathe things infinitely. <gasps> really? I, I don't want to lag out the server, but, you know, I do want to flex my abilities. So. Oh, oh infinite. Reset, and then they have a baby. Wow. And we do it again, and there's no cooldown. Oh, <laughs> guys, it's red. Oh, my God. That is pretty. I can just do it forever. I can have as many sheep as I want. Stand back. Let me show you something cool. Ready? Come here. Okay. Is there something I can murder? Come here for a second. Uh, be careful. Yeah, let's see if there's something, anything. Just... A creature right here, maybe? Do you have the murder things? Just one time. Just one, just to show you the coolness that comes out of my body. Ugh! Come here. Yeah, I believe you. Okay, you see all the way over there, that chicken. Oh, yeah, no, I see it. All right, ready? One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> I can't see. I'm... The smoke affects me. <laughs> oh, for real? Oh, this is like a smoke bomb that got like a flashbang. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Sorry. We don't like smoke, you know. We don't have any smoke around oh. here. Well, it doesn't it pacify you? It gets you all relaxed, so it's cool. It's not a very relaxing effect, let me tell you. You can't see anything. Now, after catching up with my friend Jim, she showed me her little crop field. It was very lovely, and I found some really cool crops back at the village. So we did a little bit of trading so we could have our stuff all set up with all the crops possible to make the best meals. Man, it's gonna be so awesome to have Jem as a neighbor. Now the preparation for the main base is going really good. I got this lovely pile over here that's definitely going away once we build the house. But I'm also aging some copper around. And the coolest thing about this modded series is that it's modded because I can do this. Shift clicking with an ax. Gives me the whole tree. <laughs> oh baby. And I can do it with the big boys too. It just um, takes a little bit of time with this axe is unenchanted, but eventually it would all come crashing down. Oh, so good. So I think we need to do a little bit more clearing over here because I'm thinking about a pretty decent sized starter house. It started to me, okay? Oh, our first wandering trader. Hello. I will take that cactus. Thank you. And I'll take those leads. Oh, a bargain. 
I got it for free. No llamas or wandering traders were harmed during this exchange. I promise. You saw nothing, cow? So I had a little incident earlier. I kind of forgot that I can't get wet and it started raining very, very bad. I had to log out real quick because I could have died out in the elements and it would have been embarrassing because it would have been from rain. I don't think anyone's ever died from rain on these things. Uh, it would have been a first, but I don't want to go out like that. If we're going to go out, we're going to go out in a blaze of glory. Shooting fireballs. Ooh, hopefully I didn't hit anybody with that. So I made something that can help us. And that something is this umbrella. <laughs> this umbrella will protect us from the rain. The only thing is not fashionable enough for me. I look great. Look at this outfit. It doesn't go well, right? So then I looked into maybe making something a little bit better. And then I came across this one. <laughs> oh, baby. Now this is fashion. Pure fashion. Oh, <laughs> Now that looks great. And then 10 minutes later came and it rained. And it didn't work. <laughs> Back to the ugly umbrella we go. <sighs> now to make myself feel better, I collected a bunch of copper and stripped a bunch of wood. Now it's time for the fun part. Building up my starter house here in the new live server. And I know for most people, Monty could seem very overwhelming. It does to me. So the way I'm gonna treat this is I'm gonna treat it like a vanilla build. I'm gonna build with vanilla blocks and then over time, I'm gonna be adding all the mods to make it look extra special. That way I don't freak out with all the possibilities that are available to us right now. <laughs> so the materials we're gonna go with is pretty much these right here, a combination of brick and granite, cobble deep slates, sandstone, smooth sandstone, copper, and a lot of different woods. So let's get this started. And just like that, the starter house is complete. <laughs> it looks so, so cool. I love the color palette. What do you guys think? Oh, this is a fun one. So it kept it mostly vanilla, but there are some modded blocks in here like that. What is this called again? This thing right here. I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that, but it's really super simple to make, just paper and sticks. We got some modded blocks inside here though. This is actually granite, which you can make with a stone cutter. I peppered those in a couple spots. Also this, sandstone bricks, which is really cool. Look at the size of this door also. <laughs> it's amazing. A nice little bay window here on the outside. And those are spruce lined windows. Oh, so good. We got some lattices out here with some vines and a big old chimney. Look at that. And a nice little stable over here in case we get some horses. We can put some other animals in here too though. So look at that hanging plant. I'm gonna put a bunch of those. There's a little wither rose inside. As far as the roof, it's a lovely bit of texturing over here with a bunch of deep slates and some mossy bits on the side. But this is not the house's final form. I got some really cool stuff I'm gonna add in a little bit. Create inspired. Are you ready to see some glorious interior? Let's go. Here it is. Check this out. Doesn't that look awesome? Oh, so cool. We got the seats right here in the front. Nice little island here area. We got some of these lovely mats, which are called canvas rugs. Very pretty. Cabinets on the top, a little barrel here of cabbages. We got some tomatoes in the back, a little cutting board, the sink. It totally works, I think. And then we have this nice little divider over here. It's a little dark on this side, but check this out. Oh, baby. We got ourselves a little tinkerer's desk. We got this alchemy table from the village. Don't know how to use this yet, but we will. This is how we upgrade our backpacks here at the bottom. And I put our wood working table over here. Let's check out those random books up there. I got some paintings on the side. This just feels like home. Now I do want to add some fairy lights because we had this mod installed, but I can't because I need glowstone. For glowstone, I need to go to the nether and I'm not going there anytime soon. Well, maybe next episode because I need a lot of those fairy lights. <laughs> they're so cute. The blinds are in and they're so cool. Check that out. I got them all the way around here. As we come up to the top, I got a nice little workstation over here as well. I got our bedroom here in this corner. I had a little wall divider and we're going to do a lot of create stuff on this side. And another little desk over here. But check this out. I love this light bulb. <laughs> My God. Modded, it's just so fun. <laughs> I'm so happy. Also, another cool thing about this bookshelf is that I can shift, right click, and it changes what it looks like. <laughs> oh, I love it. I like the tall one. It looks like I study a lot. But I also have to show you something that's gonna change the game, and that is this. Immersive paintings. I'll show you what this can do. Let's right click it, 
and we have options of all these default paintings that we can add to this game. But that's not the coolest part. And there it is. Look how cool, right? We can add any picture, any painting, anything online. And that's just awesome. Look at that face. So handsome. Can you see the resemblance? Doesn't that look so good? <laughs> now, the very cool thing about having this mod installed is that I can add all the fan art that you guys sent in. Eventually, I might make a huge museum or something just to display all the fan art. So go crazy, send them, and I'm going to pick some cool ones from you guys. Now, one really cool thing that's going to take this house to the next level is adding create stuff. I'm thinking right there, we can add a nice windmill for power, but mostly for aesthetics. Of course, some cogwheels around here too. Man, it's going to look so cool. Oh, and uh, I still have a chest monster out here, but don't worry. I'm going to move it eventually. So let's do this together. I'm going to need a windmill bearing. Now, this are collecting stuff that I might need down the line. So I got some andesite alloys. I got iron and I got some shafts ready to go. Andesite alloy is pretty simple. We either need zinc or we need iron nuggets mixed in with andesite like this. And we just do a little cross pattern and that's how you get the alloys. So let's make one windmill bearing. I'm going to get a piece of copper because it looks cool. Now we need a bunch of sails. For sails, we need two sticks, some alloy, and some wool. You know what? I don't feel comfortable doing this by myself. I think a tinkerer, ghast mage like myself, needs an assistant. I got a good idea. Assistant, please come to life. One, two, three. Hello! <laughs> How you doing? This is my assistant, everybody. Rusty, this is everybody. Everybody, this is Rusty. Say hello. <laughs> Hi, Rusty. Hi, my friend. Are you going to help me with my create stuff? Oh, perfect. All right, come on down. Oh, you want a button to... Okay, hold on. I got a button for you. Wait, where'd you go? Rusty? Rusty? Did he leave me already? Rusty, what are you doing down here? No, you're not a farmer. You're a tinker like me. We'll do some farming later, I promise. All right, here's your button. Yay! <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy you enjoyed that. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> That's my friend. All right, let's stop getting distracted by your cute little self and let's do some more create stuff. Where was I? Oh, I need sails. Hello, my friends. I'm going to jump in here for a second. I need some wool. Hello, lovely red sheep. Hey, <laughs> you're having a great time there. Thank you for your help. Now, I just need a good amount of sticks and we can make a ton of sails. Another thing we can start making right now is some cog wheels. So let's make some of these. It's just a shaft with some spruce planks, which is easy enough. You can make some large cog wheels too. Oh baby, look how nice that looks. Now another thing I'm going to be needing is some andesite casings. For that, it's pretty simple. All we have to do is do some wood stripping like this. I'm going to need a ridiculous amount of this one because it's also good for decoration. And you know me, I love my decoration. And then we get some of the andesite alloy and we just right click it and we make this beautiful thing right here. Oh, sorry. Oops, 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 sorry. Now, another thing I'm going to be needing is a gearbox. And the coolest thing about create is if I hover over it and press W, it gives us this awesome little tutorial of how all these things work. And I'm going to need this because I'm a noob. I have no idea what's going on. I think with what we have right now, we can start on some basic stuff. I have a hole already planned out. This is where we're going to put the windmill. So I'm thinking gearbox in here. There's the little gear. We'll get the shaft and go out a couple. Then we'll put the windmill bearing right on this thing. Let's make sure it's on. There it is. On the end of this, I want to put this little copper bit. And then we can use the sails and plop them down on top. The other direction. Now that right there is a cool windmill. Check that out. So to make it turn, all we got to do is just right click this with an empty hand. And oh, baby. <laughs> that looks awesome. Let's go check it out. Oh, look at that. That just adds to the property value. Oh, that looks so good. That is all I wanted. Create is so fun. Now, I know I can make this thing even crazier with trapdoors and fences, and I can just go all out, make it huge, make it gigantic. But I'm going to need glue for that, and I don't have ways to get glue yet. Uh, but we might work on a bigger windmill coming up very soon. For now, I know this is not going to give a lot of power. It's mostly for aesthetics, but we can do a couple things inside. And this is what I'm doing over here. I popped a little hole out. We have the gear turning right there. But I also made a vertical gearbox and another gearbox here. So we can plop the vertical one inside. So that's going to go up and down and then out this way. Put another gearbox that goes out this direction. And besides windmills, what are the other cool things that you like seeing in a steampunk fantasy style house? Gears. Cogs, let's go. I'm gonna pop out some shafts over here. Let's go out by two. 
And I'm going to drop a big one right there. And that's going to start turning. <laughs> Look at that. Actually, I should go in one more because if you add a little cogwheel next to the big cogwheel, it's going to look even cooler. So we put the big one here. There it is. I need to make more little ones. Hold on. Whee. Then we drop a little one right there. Oh, there it is. I got an advancement too. That looks so good. Look at that. Little cogwheels on the outside. This is the coolest mod in Minecraft. Look at that. I do have a little hole right here that we can jump up. And we have all this space up here for even more things. But most importantly, we can go ahead and get that shaft and take it all the way down. And I have a little hole here that we can keep going all the way down with. Now, I just need a little bit of redstone, some gold. And with that, we make a clock. You probably know where I'm going with this. Rust is excited. <laughs> and there it is. A cuckoo clock. <laughs> yes. Dreams really do come true. That's right, Rusty. Let's go. And I think we're ready to go right now. Let's put on the cuckoo clock. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at that. All right, they put a little trap door for looks. Oh, that looks so nice. Right here in the bedroom. Oh, that's perfect. Get a little shelf right here. And we can put more cool stuff on that. Can't wait to hear that thing go ding, dong, ding. <laughs> yes. Now, for this side, we can start doing some things. Drop a gear right there. Maybe put a little one here to make it go a little faster. Maybe a little one right there too. Oh, we can even put a couple little ones like that. And that just looks cool. And then we can attach stuff to it. Let's see what we can put in here. I've been working really hard on the workshop. Let me show you what I have. So I'm just pointing this out. This is not that pretty. And it's very, very slow. Ain't that right, Rusty? <laughs> That's my friend. Oh, look at that. The light goes on and off every time the buttons press. And also, if you're outside, the trap doors start flicking like crazy. So even the people outside know that Rusty's having a good time. But here we go. Millstones are pretty cool because we could just... Not not do that. No, um, sorry. Millstones are pretty cool because we can throw some wheat on here. We can throw some wheat on that side and we let that process a little bit. But while that's grinding up, I'm going to show you this mechanical press. And we're going to be needing this thing because it's, um, it presses things and we get sheets of stuff. <laughs> this one is gold and I'm going to be needing gold because I need to make myself an awesome wrench. And a toolbox, I believe, also needs the sheets. So, uh, I know it goes really, really slow. We're powering it with a very, very tiny windmill <laughs> so uh that's why it's going so slow but i can make it go a lot faster if we switch maybe to another alternate version of power but we'll do that soon i'm just learning stuff for now also we have this lovely conveyor belt over here with a saw in the middle in case we need to saw anything up if we put anything on this side for example if i throw some iron in here let's just drop those four it'll go right down this little conveyor belt get to the saw keep going this way and it'll output over here on this side which is pretty cool right look at that thing go now, while that was pressing, this thing should be ready to go in here. And we got some wheat flour. Now, another thing we could do is this little section over here. I have this fan going. I could throw the wheat flour right here. Let the fan do its work. It's standing on a depot right now. And eventually, it makes us dough. Now, dough mixed with lime green dye gives us something that I've been needing for a very long time to do bigger machinery later on. And that right here is super glue. Because that dough mixed with lime green dye gives us slime balls. Oh, there's a bing blong bling in the background. Thank you, Cuckoo. And then the slime balls mixed in with an iron sheet and a little iron nugget gives us super glue. So we finally have that for later on. Oh, and also have a brand new painting. That's the island. <laughs> Isn't that cool? But what do you think of our starter workshop? This is pretty cool, right? We've learned so much. But now that we made those gold sheets, I could add a cogwheel and some sticks and we got ourselves a wrench. And it's going to be very important because I can start tweaking stuff from in here. If I wanted to switch this up, I could do it like that. Hello, what do you want? A mask of rats, 40 emeralds. Man, I don't have that many. I have like two left. Oh, you better come back later on. I would love a mask of rat. Don't go in the house. Oh God, he went in the house. But now I can finally make my toolbox, which is super simple. Just a cogwheel on the top, chest in the middle, a couple of those sheets and a little bit of leather on the bottom. The cool thing about this is when I put it down, I can put a bunch of tools in here. My wrench can go in there, shafts, cogwheels, and inside alloys, and a bunch of other create things. Look how cool that is. I can pick it up and take it with me. It also makes really good decoration, right? I can see a bunch of these all over the place. Ain't create the best. Hey, it looks like our old good buddy Flip is online and he needs some flowers. Specifically, the sunflower. Don't know why he asked me for it, but I got a bunch. <laughs> Let's go to spawn and meet up with him. I'm inside you. Oh my God. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh God. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm <laughs> I, I forgot what, what, how to use these powers. Oh no. I'm good now. <laughs> Sorry, I got excited and now you were inside me and I thought we were merging into one. Hi. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. All I do is this. You probably, you <laughs> probably 
blood. Oh, look I at just that! Kind of do this. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> can you can you chain them together into a big leap, like up into the sky, like this? No. Oh, okay. That sucks. That is so loud. <laughs> I know. It's a flashbang for Jim. It's amazing. <laughs> Here, take it. Take all of them. Thank you. Here, I have some of these. Die. Oh, I will happily take that. I was going to set up a composter. Oh, yeah. Bone meal. Like, wait, there you go. I killed a lot of mm -hmm. oh, skeletons for that one. Whee! I appreciate it. Thank you. No okay, problem. Nice. Like, oh, I don't have fall damage. Whee! <laughs> goodbye. Whee! No, I know you guys are going to be so proud of me for this one. Chest monster's gone. <laughs> Check it out. It is out of here, and I'm so happy. Oh, it is totally in an organized location, too. Um, it's 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 in the kitchen for now um, in certain spots. Uh, but you know what? I will get organized very soon, okay? I'll make a storage room later. But something that we need to do right now... What are you looking at? Hi. Something, <laughs> something that we need to do right now is find a permanent location for this guy over here. Now, I have a really cool path that goes right from the house all the way down to this spot. And I think this is a perfect place for our waystone. Let me show you the design I have in mind. It's going to look cool. How pretty my waystone hub is. <laughs> this looks so good. And you know what? None of this is wax. So over time, this is all going to be fully oxidized. And let's see how long it takes. I have these little windmills on every corner. Just going very slow, very nice, very tranquil. Just giving you an idea of how cool this place is going to be. And look, a tiny little cogwheel tippy topper, <laughs> which is so cool. But the inside looks pretty cool. We got some hanging lights. Lovely dome up here. Look how nice this vaulted ceiling is. The Waystone is in a lovely elevated spot, so whenever anybody comes through, they're going to come right through here and then be on their way. Oh, I just can't wait till this whole place is completely expanded with stuff. And our house looks so lovely over here, but you know what? It's missing just something a little bit more custom. Just like that, we have ourselves a couple lovely custom trees. <laughs> Look at that. It just adds so much to the area. I'm going to put a bunch more, but for right now, these cool little three trees look really nice. And I think we're going to leave it right there for episode one. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see next and what other create stuff should we build.